Hey guys, Dork31 here with another video, and this one is a newscast on my favorite shooter game of this generation, and that is Titanfall, and how they're going to be making a new game launching sometime in 2016, and you guys will not guess the console it's coming out for, Xbox One, nope, PS4, nope, not even PC, it's going to be coming out for, what is it, iOS and Android, a mobile release game of Titanfall, a parkour shooter game first person. Now a lot of people are not excited about this, a lot of people are excited, it depends if you're a mobile gamer or not. Me personally, I am not too excited about this because I did love it on Xbox One, I put hundreds of hours into it. And I'm not really big into mobile gaming, especially first person shooters, the controls are just awful in my opinion. But you know, it's going to suck to see them do that, but they are going to be making a deal with Nexon here to be making it next year. And Respawn is actually leaving the console business right now and going to be working on mobile release games. And here is a quote from the president of Nexon. He said, as a player and as a fan of Titanfall, I am delighted to be working with the talented team at Respawn to bring the world of Titanfall to mobile and tablet. And as I said, that was the president and CEO of Nexon, Owen Mahoney. And that's going to be very good to see how they all work together down there to get this game launched next year. And it's going to be very fun to see how they do. And also that being said, Respawn's president also had said something. He said, our partnership with Nexon is momentous for many reasons. Nexon's unrivaled publishing network and free-to-play expertise will allow Titanfall to reach new global audiences, said Zampa, I can never pronounce his name, Respawn Zampella. He said that, you know, with his, with his saying this, I, I was really wondering when I first read this article if it's going to be, you know, as you can see some RPG games on the mobile market, you know, launching for 15, 20 bucks, or you see Angry Birds or that such for a dollar or two dollars, maybe even 50 cents. Now this says free to play, I don't know if they're talking about free to play in purchases or they're just talking about the game will be free. Now if this game does, sorry about the cut there, but if this is a free game and this does come out and it's a big budget, you know, mobile game that's actually zero cents, a free download game, this is going to be big, very big for the company for them actually not charging, you know, which they could have charged $19.99 for this game, plus tax on the mobile shop for this being a big budget game on the Xbox One and PC. I'm surprised that this is going to be a free-to-play game, as it is said now, but who knows in the future, they maybe might add some stuff to make this game, maybe even a dollar, maybe even, as I said, a 1999 retail game. But we're going to have to wait and see what they do with that, but I'm very excited as being a Titanfall fan to be playing, and I'm probably going to end up getting this game, especially if the free download you cannot go wrong with it. But if you're a mobile gamer, you have yourself a very good franchise now to be playing. And if you're not, I'm sorry to say that, but if you have a tablet, iPad, or iOS, or Android device, you can actually be playing Titanfall next year, but you will not be playing with your Xbox One controller or PC keyboard. But as I said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about them switching to mobile respawn. Is this a good, a good idea or a bad idea? Switching from console gaming and going to mobile. What do you guys think is going to happen for the future of respawn and the future of Titanfall? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll definitely see you guys in my next video.